breaking news, my lovely, wonderful people. See what is going on now. Northern Elders sends a strong message to Ashiwaju Ahmed Bola Tinubu says, If the North do not want Bola Ahmed Tinubu, he should not see it as a conspiracy against the South. There are other presidential candidates also from the South. If the North do not want you, how do you feel that is just, why do you think it's just it's a conspiracy and then the conspiracy is mainly about you? You are not the only presidential candidate from the South. If they don't want you, they might want another presidential candidate from the South. So quit saying that uh, this, the North, uh, there is a conspiracy uh, again, from the North against the South because they don't want you. Anyway, my wonderful people, they say, who have EO, let him hear. Who have EO, let him hear. This is what is happening. Said so they should not see it as a conspiracy. Anyway, my people, now so the matter, they reach us. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. If the North do not want Bola Ametinobu, he should not see that as a conspiracy against the South. He's not the only Southern candidate in the presidential election. Jafel, a kanu based politician and a former special media assistant to former Kanu state governor Rabi Okwankaso, has said he was in a meeting with the Northern Elders and he alleged that there is a horrible feeling in the air that the presidential candidate of the All Progressive Congress, Bola Metinubu, will not do well in the North. Jessa highlighted that majority of the Northerners are not supporting Tinubu's campaign due to some unknown reasons, especially with the fact that APC, a party represent, has failed seriously. He pointed out that this might make the North to appear treacherous unreliable if Tinubu fails to win the election. Jester clarified that the North won't want themselves to be seen as sabotage, sabotaging Tinubu. However, he stated that it is it all boils down to Tinubu's candidates and they and he should understand that if the North says they do not want him, it is not a conspiracy against the South. According to him, Ashiwaju Ahmed Bola Tinubu should understand that he's not the only northern uh, southern presidential candidate and the and the entirety of the north has a choice on the candidates they pick if he, he says that the failure of the north to support him is a conspiracy i don't understand why that is the north has a choice of the presidential candidates they want to support they should go ahead and support anybody they want to support they should not be put under pressure or, comp or compulsion in order to vote for a particular candidate. If the North do not feel that he can bring about the change that they so desire, why should they support such an individual? He should not see it as a conspiracy. There are other presidential candidates that the North can equally support and bring into the government. So this is what is happening, my wonderful people. Nigerians, we have to ensure that we pray very well, low uh, and we must pray very well and ensure that uh, we not allow the same thing over and over again to decide for us what will happen. You know why? If we if if we continue to allow the same thing to to keep us, you'll be shocked at what is happening. Every single one of us must ensure that we do everything humanly speaking possible. Northern elders are saying Tinubu should not see that um, they are going against him. It does not mean because Erufa in the last couple of days have been saying the North that you know Tinubu supported the North for their son Buhari to come on board. They are not ungrateful people. They would not want to be seen as ungrateful people, you know, and continue to say all kinds of words and all kinds of things. But here the Northerners are coming up to say Tinubu, Tinubu, hey, 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 take it easy, take it easy, one step at a time, one step at a time. Don't come and be making it look to us as though you know. There is something you are. Uh, there is something the North is doing against you. People have a choice, okay, on the presidential candidate they want to support. Okay, nobody will stay there and allow you to, you know, to just circumvent their will. And funny enough, it is the less privilege that usually they use. Okay, give them peanuts 
and they use them against you know the entirety use them to say okay vote for such an individual collect their pvcs from them and even vote for them you know so it is a, it is a matter of serious attention now every single individual must understand that's why there is information dissemination so you can know that it is your choice completely your choice to choose your presidential candidate you must not be coerced you must not be pressured you must do it discreetly decisively you must make up your mind that this is what you want to do without fear or favor so the northern elders according to this aid of uh, uh, former governor of kano state rabbi kwanka says they they don't that they, they don't really subscribe and so they should not be seen as traitors People should be entitled to the to their opinion and nobody should pressure them or say this or that or that or that or to them, you know, and and, and, and term them as, as as people who are who are committing all forms of crime. Anyway, my lovely, wonderful people, remember that it's up to you and I for this change to come. Every single one of us must work accordingly and ensure that at the end of the day, whatever is needed to bring about this change, we do it together. Because if we don't, some people will take advantage of us. Yes, it is up to you and I to ensure that we are rising up and we are doing everything humanly speaking possible. The days have come upon us where Nigerians must make their choice. We must all make our choices. You know, we are at a crossroad and at a junction where we must make our choice discreetly. Discreetly. We must do it very decisively, very, very intentionally. We must do it well. We cannot allow the same thing. Okay, we cannot allow the same thing to continue to hold us down. Every time we leave ourselves to chance, we, we, we don't know what we do to ourselves. Oh, we don't know. Every time we allow, you know, people who are not people to be directing and to be telling us what to do. We have just, we have just left ourselves to very, you know, very devastating position and situation. So it's up to you and I to ensure that we, we do everything humanly speaking possible and get us right back on track. Remember, it's up to you and I. You know, it's up to you and I. Every time, you know, we, we, we need things to move forward, we have to begin to act. We have to begin to act and ensure that we act appropriately and accordingly. Okay? So that at the end of the day, we can smile and we can know that we've done right by us. We can have a, you know, we can look back and know that we've done right by us. So it is, it is a very important matter that comes with urgent attention and nobody should sit back there and think that things are going to fall in place simply because you say so. Every single one of us will have to rise up. Every single one of us will have to do everything humanly speaking possible. Okay? And ensure that we, we bring Nigeria safely to that destination where we can be proud of our nation okay it is it is uh, it is very important okay it's very important anyway my wonderful people uh, uh we cannot uh, ensure we cannot allow these things to happen we can't allow it we can't allow it to happen we just have to ensure that uh, we rise up to the occasion we do everything humanly speaking possible and we change the course of what is happening today because it will go ahead, it will go a long way to affect us all. Bye for now.